Hello, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, we're going to be looking at a few billing pages in the Dr. Chrono system, specifically the patient payment screen, the day sheet, the transactions page, the remittance report, and then lastly, how to actually post a payment in the Dr. Chrono system. All of these pages, amongst others, can be found here in Dr. Chrono under the billing tab. So let's get started. The patient payment screen is where you enter all of your follow-up payments. For example, a claim has been sent to the insurance company and it's been processed and the patient has a balance due. So, all of your balance due and follow-up payments are to be entered here. What you'll need to do is actually click on the patient payments tab. Use the spotlight search to find the specific patient. Now you don't have to enter their name entirely, our system will auto-complete based on characters entered. So start typing and then you see the selections. And then we hit the search button. Once we've done all that, this screen actually populates all of the existing payments that the patient has made for previous appointments. If you'd like to add a payment, what you'll need to do is just put in a date, select a particular appointment, select the method of payment, and then put in an amount. When we hit the add button, what happens is this payment is automatically added to the appointment directly. If you'd like to accept bulk payments for multiple appointments, or the patient would like to simply pay $100 or $200, what you'll need to do is enter a payment just like we did before with some slight changes. First we put in the date. In the appointment dropdown, rather than tie it to a specific appointment, we're going to select no appointment. Select the method of payment again, and then we enter an amount. Pay attention to the unallocated payments section because this amount of $200 will get allotted to that because there isn't a specific appointment to which this payment will be tied. As you can see, this number, this amount was raised by $200. So after that, what we need to do is actually click on the Allocated Payment and Balance tab. Any appointment that has a fill button next to it is an associated unallocated payment. So what we'll need to do is click on the fill button next to the appointment to allocate monies to that respective appointment, and that will be deducted from our unallocated amount. So you can think of the unallocated section as a credit or a bank account, a tab that the patient has with the practice. So this $70 amount will be cleared and that gets reduced or taken away from the unallocated payments.